Hello all, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the beginning of line L. We start out with 2 and 7 eighths inch gauge, which is the distance between the two rails. And you'll notice I said two rails. No center rail. No, no, no. They start at two rail. DC operation. They introduced this um, Converse trolley motorized version. The Converse trolley was a, a floor toy and uh, Lionel put a motor underneath it, um, uh, basically for like a store display. Again, novelty of electricity was uh, not common for a home, so uh, the store displays uh, in the Manhattan area where Lionel was based um, to drive attention was very popular. So they took a, a very popular toy here and powered it with the uh, cast iron frame here, brass wheels. They did this in 1901. This version is 1902. They have a reverse lever back there, the controller. So you have the reverse seats from the standard Converse. And they also made a wood gondola using the same type of motor. And these were made at their factory here on Murray Street. Number uh, 24 and 26 Murray Street. That's this building right here. On the corners, uh, Murray here and Church, and you'll see the 6th Street L goes right next to the building. So that would have been the motivation for their own elevated line, which they also came out with. Um, one, because it was neat, but two, because you could get your display above the uh, floor of the window so that you could have more store display. So the Converse trolley and the wood trolley comes out, uh, wood gondola comes out in 1901, 1902, and then they introduce the number five little tunnel engine like this in 1903 along with the crane. Uh, 1903 they do uh, the green color here. Um, 1904 they go to the maroon like this one here. And then they also bring out the jail cars. Here you are few jail cars. They, all the uh, pieces came out powered. So you have your reverser up here. And that's your powered one. And they also offer them in trailer versions, which is this one. No motor. And then in 1905, 1905, they moved to White Street. Number uh, 46 White Street. And this building's still standing here. Um, it's about a mile away um, from uh, the original Murray Street address. And 1905, they introduce their 2 and 7 inch trolley. It says Metropolitan uh, Railway on the side there in very faint letters. Um, this would be more akin to what they were going to be producing in their standard gauge line, which came out at the end of the, uh, 1906. Uh, just sheet, uh, sheet metal here. Uh, very simplistic. They still have a cast iron frame. And then when they first introduced their standard gauge line here, for a comparison, you can see how mammoth the 2 and 7 eighths is compared to the standard gauge. Uh, this is about 1907, number 2 trolley. But they cheapen the line with a stamped steel here. Again, very flat stamp, stamp size. Um, but they make the uh, item, uh, the train, much smaller than the uh, two and an eighth inch gauge compared to the uh, two and seven eighths. So what I'll do is I'll swap out the, uh, the pieces here and be able to run uh, the Metropolitan and then the jail cars. Thank you very much for watching. The illustrations that you saw are from Robert Ofterhoff's 
inside the Lionel Trains Fun Factory. Thank you.